Hello everyone, welcome back to the Minish Cap in the last episode. Um, Zelda turned to stone. Vadi has basically caused the apocalypse. And now they're leaving uh, everything up to me, a child, to go save the world. So, um, let's do this. We gotta head on to the Minish Woods to find the Picori people. And we shall, uh, you know... Continue the quest to uh, forge, uh, reforge the Picori blade and save the world. Since apparently no one else in this world can, even though I am just a reincarnation of Link. Yeah, I think it's because I can roll. That's why. That's why they've left it up to me. I'm the only one who could save the world because I'm able to roll. Dang. Excuse me, sir. The name's Mato. I'm head carpenter around these parts. The King of Hyrule himself has entrusted me with this project. See, that sorcerer's attack tore things up pretty bad around here. You know, kid, you shouldn't be playing anywhere near the construction zone. Yeah. Does this look like a kid to you? Got a sword. What do you got? Okay, hold on. Uh, let's see. No. There we go. Okay, we need to get here. So we need to find... Let's see. Can I go here first off? Right, there we go. <laughs> Much better. An enemy that I can't ignore. He's too powerful. Wait, did he drop a rupee? Sounded like he did. I probably picked it up and was ignoring it completely. You know, you just gotta, just gotta cut the grass. You know, cause uh, just gotta cut that grass. Dang spider! There, I'm at twenty-four rupees. Welcome to Lon Lon Ranch. Oh god, that thing. I remember this enemy. They're very easy to kill, but they're really funny looking. Mm -hmm. A duck! I just like how it's like a little duck bandit. Wait. I heard it. Aha. Yeah, I'll come back later for Lon Lon Ranch. Hiya! You think you can escape my wrath? Ooh. Oh, it's the Goron. I forgot about that. Huh. I like the hole. It was pretty fun. All right, now we're in the Eastern Hills, so we're right next to it. Get a little grass cutting. There we go. You got five rupees. That's kind of nice. Yeah, it is kind of nice, because that brings us up to 35, and we're going to need them. What's in here? An unused house. Thank you for the reset. <laughs> Alright, I believe I should take this path. Oh, heck yeah, another hole. I'm safe in here. There we go. Who needs to read signs? I destroy them. And now we're in the Minish Woods. The journey can begin. I don't want to go in there. I remember a lot of the incarnations of Link can't swim until you get certain items. It's even worse whenever you're uh, in your tiny form.
give me a heart. They took a fragment of my health. I'll kill you! Dang, little Octorox. Oh no, a single slime! Technically, they're choo-choos. Dang, choo-choo. Thinking they own the place. Alright, down we go. <laughs> Gotta go down here. That tree stump. Then go up here. And I kill another another choo choo. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, Flubber. Help! Help me! Huh? Ouch! Won't somebody stop them? It's not even killing me, it just hurts. Oh, help somebody! Can't anyone hear me? Yeah, I wonder what that was. You got a piece of heart. Collect four to make a new heart container for even more life energy. <laughs> Just rolling around in water. I am now soaking wet and without a hat. What life is that? Huh? Hey, kid, you there! Ow! Hey, don't just stand there! Do something! Ow! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? Help me! Phew! Well done. That was close. Not that I couldn't handle them myself. But that's besides the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the woods? Ho ho, I see. The Pakori, you say? And Vati? Vati's cursed someone. What? The Sacred Blade? Is that so? I see. I see. You know, you and I have a quite- you have- you and I have quite a lot in common. You see, I, too, am on a quest to break a curse of Vati's. And you say that reforging the Sacred Blade can break his curse, eh? Well, then you have found yourself a companion, my boy. My name is Ezlo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Alright, see ya. Wait, wait, I say! You walk so quickly, too quick quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you've noticed that I have no legs. Alright, see ya. Boy, take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? Okay, see ya. Ah! If it isn't one thing, it's another. You are a troublesome boy. No, you're just slow. Ow, get my ear earphones. There. Now you can't possibly leave me behind. My, it's, an, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? See there. Yes, yes. That's it. Much better. I have now fused with your brain. I am now controlling you. Now I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If ever you need my insight, press select. I'll be happy to help. Why do you people why do you people keep telling me to press these inputs? What are you talking about? Ah, such a hopeless child. Says the hat. That got his butt whooped by two Octoroks. Hold on for a moment, my boy. We've stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. 
Eh? Who are the Minish? Ah, yes, silly. Me! Uh, uh, I fucked that up. Ah, yes, silly me. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Picori, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how, in the world of humans, only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny village where many live now, or now live. But if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that! At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump, yes? Now that stump is a portal. No, no, that stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minish size. Just stand on the stump and press R to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Get me up there and we'll give it a try. Whoa! He's saying cuss words, that's why it's not doing any sound effects of him. You gotta say cuss words to shrink. Yeah! Now I'm the strongest version of me. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. Now aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me though. Portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to a portal and press R. But there is one thing you must know. Being Minish size is full of dangers. More puddles at your- mere puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps to the Minish. And as your companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me, too. I am far more important than you. So proceed with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. Yeah. The only th the funny thing is, I can't get... Uh, oh, no, I can. It's just really, really uh, slowing me down. But if I tried to walk into that, he would kill me instantly. So I gotta take this little path over here. Inside the log. And now I gotta wait for the, the plant. It becomes a platformer at that point. Thank you. Hey, an acorn. Hey, an acorn. Leaf. An acorn. Another leaf. Yo, an acorn! Welcome to the Minish Village. It appears we have found the Minish Village. Pico Picori. Rippy Ripico Picori. Picoco Picor. Rip Pico. I feel like I was trying to summon Satan. I gather it's been quite some time since I last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now? Ah, yes, that was the language of the Minish. It's a little different from the dialect I am most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself. But perhaps there is someone here who understands your language. We should look around. Okay, not him, I believe. I'm gonna, that'll be important later. Uh, I think the person is... Cause it's been a long time since I played this game. I think they're like up here. Yeah, there they are. Yep, here he is. <clears throat> Pico! Ricopi! Picoco! Copi! I want him to be a hippie. Yep, can't understand a word you just said. Let's go to a different version. I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it's this guy, because he has, he has glasses. Hmm! I've never seen an outfit like that before. Are you a human? Oh my, it's been quite some time since any humans came here. My name is Festari. I watch the Abbey, as well as the Shrine to the North. You seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't, don't you? You could use a jabber nut. It'll allow you to understand our tongue. 
You should be able to find one in the barrel house just south of here. To the barrel house! Away! Alright, there's the barrel house. We'll take this little path right here. It's a nice house. How's it going? I just broke in your house, you don't mind, right? Oh, Shade! This must be the Jabbernut Festari told you about. Well, you better eat it if you plan on making any progress at all. You ate the Jabbernut. Now you can understand the language of the Minish. What do you have to say for yourself? So you've eaten the Jabbernut, and now you can understand us. The Elder said that humans can no longer see us as they once could. It's amazing that you can see us. Up we go. What do you guys say? You've heard of travel. You've heard of travelers who find a king kinstone and get really lucky. Well, that's all thanks to items made by us Minish. You see, we thrive on making humans happy. It gives us energy. But we only do it in secret. Onward. The journey continues. So, you've eaten the Jabbernut, and now you can understand us. I could already understand you, four eyes. I'm, I'm all, I also wear glasses, so I know the pain. Sorry, but I know little about swords. I'm sure the Elder can help you. Back to the Elder. You probably haven't noticed, but lots of Minish live right in Hyrule Town. I didn't ask. I rolled into you, and you decided to speak to me. He's an El Oblivion, uh, NPC. Oh, you speak our language! Oh no, I wanted to ma make him a hippie. It's been quite a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Ezlo. This child is Shade. We need to break a curse that has been cast on the Princess of Hyrule. To do so, we'll need to reforge the broken Picori Blade. Ah, yes! And you've come here now hoping to have the blade reforged. Hmm. Well, if that's what you're after, you'll need four mystical, mystic elements. These elements are the crystalline forms of the energies of this world. They like, only by fusing, only by infusing the blade with these energies can a new blade be forged. Here, give me your map. I can mark with where these righteous elements can be found. Simple enough. The earth element can be found in the shrine in the north of Vistari's Abbey. Speak with Vistari, he will show you the path to the shrine's entrance, man. Go with caution, little man. Evil creatures have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once after you have found the earth element. I'll at least get to the shrine. That'll be a good uh, part to end this episode. So let's make our way to the shrine. You wish to go to the shrine? Very well, this way. Vile beasts have settled in recently. Be careful, it is dangerous. It is quite dangerous. And now we must wait, make our way. And we have made our way. We are now here. We are now in Deepwood Shrine. So this would be the Deepwood Shrine the Minish Elder spoke of. He said something about there being monsters inside, didn't he? Hey, now. No reason to be afraid or anything. I'll be waiting right here. No, wait. What am I saying? I'm not letting you leave me alone out here. Good for you. Okay, so let's let's end this here so I can start fresh and have uh, and, and be able to finish the dungeon in one go. 
So I thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, if you like this episode and you want to see more, please uh, help me out by subscribing the, to make the channel a little bit bigger. Uh, but in, until the next episode, which we will be finishing this dungeon, uh, hope you all have a good rest of the, your day, and I will talk to you all later.